typically when you have four to five months inventory, that's a balanced market. Okay. Um, right now we're under two months. Um, okay, but inventory. what does that mean? It means if no more homes were to come on the market, yeah. for the it would take two months for all those homes to sell, theoretically, okay. sure, right? Sure. So um, right now we're dealing in an increased level of interest rates, which right. is slowing down. I mean, we had appreciation levels and values in the 13 to 16%. So they were crazy. They yeah. weren't sustainable. Yeah. Um, we're still with higher interest rates, you know, hovering around six. Yeah. We're still seeing prices increase. We've had off properties this week, multiple offers, five, yeah. six offers on a single property. Right. So the demand is still there. What you're getting at too is, we are still in a housing shortage, mm -hmm. significant housing shortage. Back in the housing crash or bubble, the foreclosure yeah. boom, so to speak, back in 2008, 2009, nationally, there were about 4 million homes at any given point on the market. Sure. A balanced market, uh, NAR tells us, is about 2 million homes nationally on the market. National Association of Realtors. Correct. Okay. Um, Lawrence Yoon, who's the lead economist right. for the National Association of Realtors. Um, in January of 2022, there was about 1 million homes on the market nationally. Gotcha. Um, and currently in 2023, that's less than a million. Okay. So because of the interest rates, it costs more from a monthly payment to buy a home, mm -hmm. but the overall economics 101 supply and demand of inventory out there right. is still causing home appreciation. Yeah, folks, this is all about education here, uh, which is the reason why we have this conversation with Brandon with Voight Johnson Real Estate. 